previously on Rogue Life. I touched Benny's floating body. I got sucked into what must be like his mother's basement. Saw a cursed video game machine. Picked up the controller and now... Here I am. One, two, three, Wait! Lauren? Is that you? Blondie? Now this is a first. This pumpkin jack guy, he's grayed out for some reason. Just keep the brunette one from leaving. We can let the other and you free. I'll tell you what! We can just call the game in your favor if you are willing to sacrifice your partner. He has to know that the Odin guy didn't do what he said he'd do. Okay... He... Lied. Okay, okay, okay! I'm back! I need to talk to Darnell! The date is September 18th, 2023. This is Special Agent Cara DeMarco joined by Agent Spratt interviewing Mr. Benjamin Bowers, a witness for the incident on August 12th. Mr. Bowers, we appreciate you coming in this morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Happy to help any way that I can. You know, I've always wanted to see what an interview like this is really like. After all, I mean, uh, law and order can only really take you so far. I would like to remind you just how serious this situation is, Mr. Bowers. Uh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. I tend to get a little bit motor mouth when I'm nervous, and well, I've, I've never been in, in a type of situation like this before, and where I've been talked to by the, by, uh, who exactly are you guys? FBI, Homeland Security, <gasps> are you the men in black? I promise. I won't tell anyone. All right, Benny. What do we do now? Go slay the dragon and save the damsel in distress? <laughs> Though I doubt that your ex would want us to call her that. <laughs> or maybe Mr. Newsom could be the damsel in distress. <laughs> um, Benny? Sorry if that joke hit a nerve or something. I, I thought you'd like it. Benny? <gasps> James? James, come here! Yes? What happened to Mr. Bowers? I, I don't know. He was talking with me, joking, and then he just stopped. Obviously something's wrong here. That weird film over his eyes. It looks straight out of a horror film. This is not good. I warned the two of you against destroying the sanctuary, and now look at what has happened. Wait. Your laptop. James? Was this residence folder here before? I do not believe so, Miss Blake. We're all in here. Okay, Benny. Admin override. James, what does that mean? Valhalla seems to have taken direct control of Mr. Bowers. Well, can we stop them? Wait, status has just changed to inactive. Oh. Benny? He's... He's not responding. Eric, help me bring him up to the building. Uh, sure. Miss Blake, it would seem that Mr. Bowers was influenced by something from Valhalla's system. This is rather interesting. James Peterson, we need to talk. And who exactly are you, sir? You know exactly what I am, James. Ah, you are one of the creators of the system, I assume. Yes. In that case, please tell me how we can leave. Oh, but you cannot leave, James. It is my duty to ensure that Mr. Newsom is able to escape this place. I am sure that we could come to some sort of arrangement. What could you possibly offer to us, James? Well, you do not have a true understanding of our world. You understand just what my team has chosen to show you, but you have no true connection. I can be that bridge for you. What are you proposing? 
Have you ever played one of those video games where every time you die, you start the game over with everything completely changed? Like the enemies, maps, weapons, abilities, everything is different. Well, that's my life. My name is Benjamin Bowers, but you can just call me Benny. I remember back in junior high, I was all set to have a solo at the big choir concert. But I locked my knees and fainted in front of hundreds of confused parents. Yeah. Music and I don't have a great relationship. Rogue Life, Episode 14, A Little Night Music. So, I still don't get exactly where you were. We didn't have any feeds of this Mad Max situation or the deadly trivia battle. Let's be honest, Darnell. We don't know how any of this really works. We're just flying by the seat of our pants here. All I know is that we've been looking to get people out, and I apparently found it. (laughs) By going strictly against all of our protocols. By taking a chance. Isn't that what Mr. Newsom would want in the first place? Mr. Newsom went against my legal advice and started all of this mess to begin with, Janet. And lest we forget, he's still stuck. And now we're a step closer to him being unstuck, right? We shouldn't even be talking right now. You should be in custody. Um, can I say something? No! No. Okay, sheesh. Obviously there's something that I can do here, Darnell. Nothing else was getting done, but I made progress. Let me try to get in there and free everyone else. If we can find a way to get the others out of Valhalla, I guess that might be doable. I need you to work with Jen closely on this one. Uh, uh, Do do I have to be here? Can I go home? That actually might be nice. No. Sorry. There are liabilities at play here. We can't let you leave this facility until we are sure that you are healthy. (sighs) You've been trying to get me out of here since the day I got back, Darnell. But you want to keep this guy around? We may need him in order to access others' consciousness. Benny. Would you be willing to assist Janet and Jen? Yeah, well, I mean, I think I have like 30 shows that I have to catch up on, but yeah, sure, whatever. (laughs) Don't worry. I'll get you on the payroll. Janet, I'm trusting you with a lot here. And that's pretty much it. Everyone is on these loops for a minute or less. The screen glitches and it starts over. Wait, so... So what was mine? You were doing an audio log talking about your hopes of a love life with Janet. Uh, I just... uh, uh. Jen, please stop. Yes, Benny. You were doing the audio log thing. I went into some twisted mental world, beat the game, and I was able to put a name in the high score. I put, he lied. Apparently that was enough to get into your loop and help you break out of it. Okay, weird. Uh, So it's like an Inception type going two dream layers down sort of thing? As far as we can tell, yes. Oh, hey, go go back. Huh, it's Mr. Peterson's feed. (laughs) What, he, he just sits at a desk and does paperwork? Yeah. That really feels par for the course for James. But we have no idea what challenges we would have to face if we dive into his subconscious, right? I don't think so. Though going by how yours was a video game challenge, I expect James to be something like, I don't know, corporate bureaucracy. Are we going to try him next then? Well, that might be a good one. James understands more about Valhalla than anyone. If we're going to succeed, we need to go there. And... You want me to join you? Well, yeah, having Lauren help you in your- Wait, 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 wait. Lauren's out too? Why isn't she being forced to help? No, actually, whatever happened with her seems to be, well, it's different than the rest of us. Okay. Well, I guess we should try it out then. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that that was weird. Janet? Right here. Are, are we backstage somewhere? When I went into your subconscious, it was like a basement with a gaming system first. Maybe this is some sort of the same thing. 
Okay, people, places. Hey, you two, you were supposed to be on stage. James? Come on, come on, get to it. No time, we are sold out. Oh, this is really just like my dreams. I'm about to go on stage without knowing any of my lines. Well, let's wing it. I've been to a couple of improv workshops. This shouldn't be too tough. Wait, is this a musical? I don't know about- Shh! Look, there's no audience. We're just in a peaceful countryside. Oh, look at that cute little village with the- That's Roof Cottages! <laughs> yeah, I miss Homestar Runner. Oh, we all do. Come on, let's see what's going on with these peasants. I bet that they're going to sing us a good exposition song. Long, long ago in a faraway place lied a treasure foretold and the one who gave chase. Not a treasure of riches, not silver or gold, but eternal life was a treasure foretold. But where? Listen to the song? It's the hero foretold. Ha ha! Come, all ye peasants, and bask in my glory. I will protect you, so come before he. From his castle in fury and flame jet I shall protect you Your savior, Sir James Come from his castle in fury and flames Come from his castle in fury and flames Come from his castle in fury and flames <laughs> Well, that's the side of James that's a bit unexpected <laughs> You're missing the dance break. Even the horse is dancing. Oh, what is horse dancing called again? It's dressage. Yeah. Knowing that term is a bit outside of my tax bracket. Yet I shall protect you. He shall protect us. Yet I shall protect you, your Savior! What was that? Where did all this fire come from? Wait, where'd James go? That's the pumpkin dude from your loop! That giant projection in the sky! Wait, pumpkin dude? What are you... Ah, that, there's James, there's James! He's running away! That coward! Seriously? Hey, peasant folk! <laughs> okay, Kate, okay, calm down. Calm down, come on. Come on. Calm down. There's a well over here. I'll try to get some water for this. Stop panicking! Seriously, lady, you are literally just running in a circle and screaming. What is that helping? Oh, I think this well is drum dry. Benny, there's nothing down here. It'd sure be nice if our savior, Sir James, had to run away with his tail between his legs. The hell? I'm stuck in the musical again? Ugh. Rain. Rain Phallicus. Lauren! Oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, you too, Blondie. Oh, Benj, what's up? Oh, hey. 
Um, uh, how are you here? I could ask you the same question. This is like the fourth time that I've tried James's weird little musical, but it's the first time that I've seen you guys here. Lauren, it worked. We got Benny out, like into the real world. Huh. Okay. Whatever. What exactly worked? Sorry, my mind's a bit frazzled. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that's a nice little Merlin rope you got there, Lauren. Huh? The beard's a bit much. Yeah, it's stuck on with that stage prosthetic glue crap, I think. Okay, so what are we supposed to do in here? Janet said that in my thing, you just had to get a high score. Probably have to defeat the baddie and sing a few songs. That's my guess, at least. Uh, but no songs right now! My hell! Okay, well, what baddie? I don't want to talk about it. What? Why not? If we want any chance to actually defeat this, we have to... I said that I don't want to talk about it. All right, we're not going to push. As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to talk about it. Whoa! What's with this musical hostility? I refuse to say a thing you don't need to know. You might as well just go. This bad, he's just the worst. Just bad news. He don't care if he wins. He just wants you to lose. Come on, Lauren. We need to get everyone out of here and we need James to do it. You think the real world is what I really need? You don't know me then. Let's get right up to speed. I'm happy to be here, thrive where others fail. And so I'll win, but I will do it all myself. So yet again, Blondie, you just don't know shit. Listen when I say I don't want to talk about I refuse to say a thing you don't need to know. You might as well just go. This bad, he's just the worst. This guy is bad news. He doesn't care to win. He just wants to. Lauren! Shut up! Listen! Just stop! Gotta just... Stop. I don't want to talk about it.
Lauren, I don't want to pressure you, but I've talked to your fiancé, Derek. He's worried. Derek? He's been trying to get in touch with you for months. Of course, Rencorp can't really tell him where you are, but he misses you. He said that he knows you're off saving the world or something, but sometimes he needs a little saving too. No. No, you're lying. I told him that if I was gone for too long, he should move on. Find someone new. He deserves it. He doesn't want to find someone new. He wants you. What am I supposed to do about it? I can't get out, and I can't damn him to wait for me. You can get out. We're going to get everyone out. Look, Lauren, it works. I got out. So did Janet. Why in the hell would I want to get out? I'm good at this. Watch this shot. You see that? That was me. My skill. I did that. I can do that in here. Out there, I I can't do shit. Lauren. Shut up, Benj. You know, it's interesting. When most couples break up, you have to figure out who gets to keep which friends. But with us, I had no friends. I had no one. Oh, sure you did. Lance, Jeff, Steve... Oh, your high school buddies? Yeah, we're great pals. Had lunch just the other day. It's not fair. You, the screw-up, make friends everywhere you go. No ambition, no drive, yet people flock to you. Me? Nothing. No one. And the worst part? The thing that you never knew? I got a call the week before I came in here. Someone looking for, of course, you. They dropped the bombshell. They wanted you to- Lauren! Now, now, Miss Larkin. (laughs) Spoilers. What the hell, man? Why does everyone constantly kill my ex-wife in front of me? Trust me, that's not something I'm into. You're going down, son. (laughs) Stop! Stop with the- the, the shadow stepping. Uh, the, who are you? Do you really want to know, Benjamin? I should be mad right now, but a villain exposition song? The best songs in all the Disney musicals were villain exposition songs. Be prepared, poor unfortunate souls, Hellfire, Gaston. Don't forget friends on the other side. Too many people forget Princess and the Frog. Oh, crap. Please, please, please don't rat. You want to know my master plan? Why I'm keeping you all here trapped? (laughs) Gather round, both woman and man. This explanation's better sung than rapped. Wait, what's going on? Me, 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 (laughs) me. No, that's not quite right. No, let's see. Me, 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 me. All right, I've got it. Hit it. Welcome to my dark dimension, a tragic world of my invention. I revel as you slowly fade Trapped in my dark masquerade You know, I, I've got to be honest I was not expecting the soprano singing voice This place that you have called Valhalla Contrary to what you think Is not for you to control You think Such an optimist point of view, magnificent. You want peace in the world out there, then some must remain in here. Welcome to my dark dimension, a tragic world of my invention. I revel as you slowly fade.
must remain in me. Welcome to my dark dimension, a tragic world of my invention. I revel as you slowly fade, trapped in my dark masquerade. The that's it? I gotta admit, I, I'm just more confused after that song. Come to the Black Castle. Bring that coward behind the well with you. All will be made clear. Uh, hey! Put me down, I say. Your savior, Sir James. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you peasants need to rethink your heroes. Tonight, Benjamin. The Black Castle. Here, my familiar will guide you. Yes, sir. For you, sir. I will guide them back to you, sir. Lousy little creatures with only two legs and hair in all sorts of unsightly places. Right away, sir. After I kill them all and put their bones into a lovely display case labeled Miserable Creatures That Messed With My Master. Lousy little things. You can count on me, sir. Tonight, Benjamin. Rogue Life is written by Brady Flanagan. Directed and edited by Brady Flanagan. Assistant directed by Anthony Lovato. Original music by Brady Flanagan and Willis Kramer. Piano by Jill Flanagan. Recorded at Two Rough Edges Studios. Starring Ali Arbuckle, Amanda Flanagan, Anthony Lovato, Blake Haywood, Bob Bador, Brady Flanagan, Brooklyn Kohler, Brooks Bador, Casey Wayman, Dan Harvey, Jake Herrenberg, Jason Wilde, Jim Dixon, John Crowder, Caitlin Johnson, Kevin Buckner, Melinda Yeaman, Melissa Head, Michelle Gardner, Richard Head, Rio Lefevre, Robert Neal, Rusty Bringhurst, Truman Barnes, narrated by Blake Haywood, art by Blake Haywood, production manager Melissa Head. Next time on Rogue Life, the music continues with a feisty demon to lead the way. In episode 15, The Tragic Flute. <laughs> <laughs>